Welcome back. You're watching TVW's Wisconsin Women, and we're filming on location today in Monroe, Wisconsin at the Monroe Furniture Center. We're going to be talking recliners. Now, they have come a long way. If you haven't been shopping recliners for a while, you're going to be surprised. We're going to take a look later in the program. Now, if you've been reclining a little bit too much lately, you might want to sit up and listen to our next guest. Joining us right now is Luke Smetters, and he's with Green County Family YMCA. Thanks for joining us, Luke. Certainly. Thanks now, for having me. The Green County Family YMCA is a cause-driven nonprofit charity, and they've been serving Green County for over 30 years. That's amazing. Yes. And part of their mission is not just fitness, it's fitness of the spirit, mind, and body, and that is including everyone, including kids. Now, Luke, I noticed that in September you guys had an event called Healthy Kids Day. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what that was like. Tell us about it. So it's an event focused uh, for kids, primarily ages 12 and under. Um, certainly kids older can come to, but it's a, just an event about promoting healthy uh, kids and healthy activities. We had um, the dental house there talking about sugary drinks. We had Maximus the therapy dog there. We had um, because it was September 11th, the fire department brought their ladder truck and raised the flag up on the top of the truck. Um, we also had the Army National Guard um, fly a helicopter in, which was very exciting. And I think got yeah. the big kids uh, just as excited as the little kids. <laughs> Speaking for yourself, perhaps? <laughs> well, yeah, and, and some of the other bigger kids, too. Yeah. Um, but it was a joy, especially to see some of those little, little kids imagining, you know, pretending yeah. to fly. Wow, that sounds like a really neat event. That's that's even better than yeah. what I was thinking it was going to be. So I love it. Even the dentist is kind of neat to have there. Because yeah. when we think of YMCA, we yeah. think of, you know, push-ups and sit-ups and exercising. But it, it was much yeah. more than that. We really try to make it fun. We have yeah. obstacle courses. Um, there's a, there's two bouncy houses that we have that we, inflatables that we yeah. blow up and you know are on the fans and the kids just have a great time. It's great that you combine all of the wholeness of fitness into one, one day's activities for the kids. Thank That's you. She really said great. it much better than yeah. I did. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Um, but, but speaking of kind of reaching everybody in, the, in, the, in their whole wellness package, um, the Green, Coin, Green, Green County YMCA has now adopted the YMCA 360 program. Mm -hmm. Can just, you explain what that is for people? Certainly. We just yeah. launched it September 7th. And okay. um, for the first month, anybody that's in our service area can access it. Um, after that month, then you'll have to be a member of our YMCA to access it. But um, think of Beachbody. That's their primary competitor, is because their videos are shot so well. Um, you could go on your Apple TV, you can go on your Hulu, or not Hulu, but Apple TV, um, or Roku, access okay. it from your home, from your iPad, whatever. Um, you can pull up these fitness videos, and you're watching instructors kind of lead you through these movements and these classes. So you can do workouts, if you're on the road traveling, and you're a member of the Y, and you're in your hotel, you can pull up this video and work out right in your hotel room. And are some of those options on demand or are they a scheduled um, no, type? It's both, um, okay. they're on demand. You just go and search for what you want. Um, they also have videos for, um, some are 45 minute like class length. And okay. then there are also videos, like there's a couple that um, teaching a kid how to dribble or how to pass a basketball. So even some of the basics. That's amazing. Yeah, that really yeah. is. And you said that you guys just started offering this to your members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right. I, um, I was looking at your website, and you have a, a donate page. And because you're a nonprofit, you do things with those donations. And I'm wondering if you could tell us about your annual campaign. Certainly. So, I mean, we obviously, um, when you become a member of the Y, there are membership dues. But because we are a nonprofit, we want to be accessible to all people. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want... We don't want to turn people away because of their socioeconomical status. So the annual campaign every year, sometimes we hear people say, oh, you're doing a campaign again. Well, it's the annual campaign, and that really helps um, subsidize uh, p certain people's uh, membership dues. Right. Um, it's assistance-based, it's financial aid, and it's typically based on the number of people in the household and um, their financial income. And it is a sliding scale based on how much aid that they get. That, and, and what a great way to invest in somebody else's health by scholarship. That's really an amazing option. So Certainly. That's really great. Um, so you guys do programs throughout the year. Um, what are a couple that are coming up that you'd like to share with us today? Uh, basketball is probably the yeah. next um, big, I think, sports area. Yeah. There's um, dribbling dinosaurs. There's traveling <laughs> basketball for, yeah. I think it's um, fourth through eighth yeah. grade, if I remember correctly. Um, there's second and third grade basketball. There's always constantly a rotation of events um, and, and sports that are happening, but, but it's definitely basketball yeah. season that's approaching. Yeah. 
and agree to get exposure to your children of all ages into a program like that if they haven't done it before or if they know they love it. So certainly, it's great. Yeah, and speaking about time, we have about a half a minute left. I'm wondering if you can talk about um, classes for adults. We've been talking a lot about the kiddos. Mm -hmm. These, uh, there are a lot of the classes for adults are kind of a little slower to come back since mm -hmm. COVID, but um, they're they're gradually ramping up. Um, we have a number of different cycling classes that are available, um, boot camp um, classes, um, and then there's also a lot of water fitness classes. Mm -hmm as well because some people need that lighter mobility. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Luke. So whether you want to volunteer, donate, or join, or do all three, that's the YMCA of Greene County. Thanks for watching.